Hi, today in OpenSCAD, I'm going to show how to use the me measure distance and angle tools. I am using a nightly build. Let's see. I'm using one from May. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty far behind on the latest one, but that's the one I'm using. I'm sure newer ones should work uh, fine, too. I made a, a simple sample uh, just to demonstrate. And to use the tools, they're under design. And there's a measure distance and measure angle tool. It is also here and there. Now they're currently grayed out because I haven't fully rendered it. So once we render it, then they then they'll uh, show up. And for my example, all I'm doing is. I'm making a, a circle and I'm setting it to four sides. I could have just used a square, but I want to be able to adjust it. And then I'm just extruding it. And to use the distance tool, we can just click on this. You can either click a, a point or an edge. Okay, 10. Since our circle's diameter is 10, then that is right. You can do edges too, which is 7. And then for the angles, this should be 90. If we do all the points. Okay. Now on this, you can also do edges, but for the edges, you only have to do two. Okay. Now let's move on to our ne next example. Uh, this is one I actually made in OpenSCAD. But if we were importing an STL or a 3MF file that we didn't know, we could check the size. So if we want to figure out the height, oh wait, we need to render it. Oh no, wait, why did that work? Okay, on here. 1.5. And then the same thing with the angle tool, we could pick three points and the, the second point is the angle that you want. So you got to be careful of your order. So we know that's 90. Uh, let's pick a different one. Oops. That's not what I wanted. That vertex. And we get 15 degrees and we can also do the same. We can just use two edges. And we get 15. And that is all for these videos. Uh, it's it's kind of nice to have just in case you're importing something that you don't know from another place. Uh, thank you very much.